Hi guys, it's me, Miss Taylor, and me, Miss Rubio, and I'm going to talk us through a ballet bar. So hopefully you guys can find either a chair or a windowsill or something that you can just hold on to um, that gives you enough space to do a pretty basic bar. Um, I'm hoping to challenge our muscles, but also challenge our brain just a little bit to keep us in the ballet spirit. So yeah. Here's how it's gonna go. I'm going to talk us through the combination and then I'll do it both sides. That way I get the exercise too. So it'll be like I'm right there with you. Also, I'm using my Frozen CD because Frozen makes me happy and I think it makes most of you happy too. So grab onto your bar item of choice. For me, it's an actual bar, but for you it might not be. Um, I have my handy dandy black notebook which most of you know is where i keep all of my secret combos so if you see me looking at the ground i'm just looking at my notes and then my phone to control the music so like every good ballet class we'll start with some theory so fun um we'll do really simple starting with your left hand on your bar of choice we'll take i'm going to scoot back so you can see my head We'll take an easy knee, den, stretch, den, stretch, crown plie, five, six, crown up, seven, eight. We're gonna turn our feet in and converse forward. That way we can stretch out our hamstrings. So we're hanging out here, plie. We'll roll up through the spine one vertebrae at a time. So really lengthen all the way through. Turn out, tongue to second. In second position, we'll do two dennies, den, stretch, den. Stretch from ground plane, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna come right into the bar and up. Come right away from the bar, making sure that we're staying nice and pointed in our feet. Come through first. We'll go to four, two demi. Stretch, demi. Stretch one and ground plane, six, seven, eight. We'll take another come right forward. This time we're gonna stay turned out. Should really feel it in the front leg. Come up, we're gonna come right back. Careful that we're not sitting in those hips to go forward. Up, to go back. We'll tongue loop, just then. Same thing in fifth, again. Stretch, then. Stretch from the five, six, up, seven, eight. This time we're gonna take a four count, stretching the quarter brow, so it's kind of quick. One, two, three, four, all the way around. All the way around to the back. We'll tongue loop, back to the first. We'll take a nice and deep, easy plie, rolling up through those ankles. Trying to keep them where they are so that they're nice and strong and they take a bit of a balance. I would ask if you have any questions, but you can't respond, so we're just gonna do it, or I'm gonna do it, and hopefully you'll do it too. Get some music cranking.
Look how this is. And dinner. Try and remember that. I'll obviously have to do it. Um, and at the end, we're going to pull up. So we're going to two, two bounce. We'll bounce our arms in first for a count of eight. And we'll take them straight up for another count of eight. We're watching that we don't lift our shoulder. I want to see more movement for a count of eight. And then we'll finish. And we'll go to the other side. Okay, let's see. Try it.
sit in my weight on my heels and that supporting leg gets really tired so make sure that you're lifting up using this little guy right here and keeping your hip flexor muscle the front of your hip really long and get that weight out of that heel yeah so that you don't crunch your toes no crunches because even though we're doing bar at home we still should be practicing this at home so let's get it Today, we have our favorites. We're going to do the ones where you hold on the four, hold on the three, hold on the two, hold on the one. So it looks a little bit like this. You have four, four Dega Jays to the front, holding on number four. So you only have three, but it's four counts. One, two, three, hold four. Then you go to the side and you're going to hold the three. One, two, hold three, four. Raise your back one, hold two, three, four, hold the one, which is the hardest for me. Hold the one, side, front, and side, reverse. One, two, three, hold four, one, two, hold three, four, one, hold two, three, four, hold one, side, back, and side. Yeah, we're going to do a one, two, three, on the right foot. We're going to two, two, we're going to two, eight, we're going to go on the left right away. And I mean right, we'll reverse it. So you need to go left. Let's keep our arms to the side for today. Just because a lot of us might not have a good stable bar and I want us to make sure that we're closing in a nice fifth position. I don't know if I did technique for my nice fifth. You can call me out on it if I'm not doing good. So perk of watching the easy bar if you can correct me because I'm not perfect. Nobody is. So if you're at home and you're feeling like, oh my gosh, this is so hard. It's okay because it's hard for me too and I'm sweating. So we're in it together, people. All right. On to our dancer. We're going into the unknown. Ready?
wrong de jambes, and that's what we shouldn't do when we do our own wrong de jambes, right? Right? No hula dancing. So, two hands, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna go to a posse position, making sure that the second your toes come off the ground, that they're pointed, right? So it scoops right up, comes straight up the leg. We're gonna turn it in, turn it out, tongue is to the back. Notice how I go from the to the back, I keep my knee and my thigh turned out. Yeah. You have one brush front, brush back, brush front into a single slow-ish round of jam. Then you have four round of jams and we're gonna use the arm. One, two, get a nice ball through your head, three, and four. Brush off the ground, five, brush off the ground, six, brush off the ground, 58, seven. Pulling it into passe, repeating that same back thigh action to get you an arabesque tendu. Close back, reverse, passe, turn in, turn out, tendu, front, brush back, brush front, brush back, round de jambe. Four round jumps, two, three, four, brush off the ground, off the ground, back through passe, and extend, close. After all that, we'll take a circular quarter bow for eight counts this time to get a nice longer stretch. Reverse it. We're gonna do my favorite lunge stretch. So from your fifth position, we just circled to the back. Take your back leg, wherever your bar is, whatever it is, try and hold on to it. Go down into a lunge. Make sure that you're keeping this hip nice and strong. Coming up, watch that you don't do that like I just did. Keep that butt down. I'm gonna try my hardest. From this position, you're gonna take it to an inner desk. It can be a flat, or you can try to do a plie relevé balance. Let's see what happens. You fall, you fall. Just on yourself too. Like, try not to. Actually, just don't do it. Just don't hurt yourself. Shall we? I say we shall. Left hand on the bar.
lot to go, ladies. Now I'm already sweating. I'm already sweating and I'm already feeling it. <sighs> it's been too long. But that's why it's important too that we keep it up and keep driving things and driving the videos and do our bar at home. So, shall we? I'm why am I asking you? I'm telling you. We're gonna do fondies next. And yeah, we're gonna do fondies next. I just need to breathe in. This is intense, which is good. Get our heart rates moving. Fondue. And you all know my biggest pet peeve with fondue is when you do not straighten both legs at the same time. So, really make sure that that's a thing that's happening because if it's not, or if it goes the other way, it's gonna be a, right? That's not a real proper fondue animation, no. Yeah, so we're going to five, six, seven, Hey, you know what? I'm not gonna say on this side just because I've been demonstrating on the other side a lot. Um, so five, six, seven, eight. You have fondue. You're gonna extend it to the front. You have a plie pull left, and you're gonna bring it into an ab two turned out position, and then point. Close, and you have two fondue, fondue, and out, and the fondue, and out. That's it. On quoi? Front side, back. Side. Finish. Yeah, it's gonna feel good. You're gonna feel it, which is good. Feel the burn. Um, the reason we're doing the flex, so watch my hand, pretend my hand's my foot, from your plie and attitude, right, your flex, you're really gonna push through those toes, almost as if like there's something to push against. And that's also gonna help, I'm gonna do like a morning at you, from here, Pretend that I'm like pushing something away. And that's gonna help you develop that sort of strength in your leg with your muscles so that you're almost using the air as resistance. And that's when you're that's when your fondues are going to help you improve the fastest. Because when you think about from your fondue position, going through something like I don't know, peanut butter or Nutella, like the air in Nutella. Like that's that resistance quality that you want so that you're not just like, oh, it's easy. Fondue should be hard. So I've done enough talking that I feel like I can dance again. So let's do this. Hi, Fondue. wanted to do this on me, which is a no-go. So you really want to make sure that from here that it stays flat and doesn't pike up. Maybe you'll see it on the side and you can, again, tell me watching you, but you're watching me. So make sure that I'm also doing proper technique because you guys know what it is. 
Ready? I'm ready. And I'm just waiting for me. So let's do it. to the back was really difficult for me to like get me straight in the same time. Alrighty. We have approximately three three more combinations. Three. Here's our frat face, which means two so we're gonna make sure that we're pointing our feet really strong and sharp. Um, so we'll take a five, six times seven, flex foot on eight. That progression is really important because if you're not ready to go on the one, you're already behind. Yeah, so make sure that we're, we're doing that prep all together. Five, six, seven, flex foot on eight. Do three frat bases to the front and you're gonna hold the fourth one. One, Two, three, holding four. Side one, two, three, holding four. Side four, two, three, holding four. We're gonna do two doubles to the side. Feet, feet out, hold, hold, feet, feet out, hold, hold, reverse. One, two, three, hold four. One, two, three, hold four. Front one, two, three, hold four. And a double, and a double. Then you have double long claw to the front, and the front, and the side. And a back, and a side, reverse, and a back, and a side, and a front, and a side, plie, su su, sur le coup de pied, meaning around the neck of the foot. Wow. It wanted to do a software update in the middle of my video. How sad. Anyway. From your plie susu, you're gonna snake the foot up so that it wraps around like this part of your ankle, like right above your ankle bone, so it fits nice and tight all the way around. So you really push that heel forward. We're gonna balance there for probably a count of eight. We're gonna susu, suit new level right onto the lift. So let's do our prep phase.
Yeah, even though I have a sturdy bar, I'm never going to want to grip it. No, bro. Thanks, buddy. Anyways, it's really just there to make sure that you don't fall over. So you don't want to be knocking it around. I was always told the good ear bar is like, obviously your partner in ballet class. But I had one teacher that was like, think of it like your best friend. You don't want to like manhandle it. And I was like, yeah, okay. So just a nice, gentle, gentle little touch. It's all here that I need. So I'm going to push myself a little bit. We're going to move on. We're almost done, people. Thanks for hanging in. You've been sticking around from the beginning. I appreciate it. And your body, thank you. And your mind, too, because ballet is just good for it. So, moving on to Adagio. Um, we're going to do some double twos. And then we have a little bit of a flight day. Um, so, from fifth position, I'll do it on the left. On the left side. My left hand. My left hand. On the bar. Six, seven, eight. You have four count double take to the front, hitting that Sterling Crudipier position that we just practiced, right? So the toes go right back through passe, which we practiced when we did rock down. Oh my gosh, it's all coming full circle. Extend it to the front through four count. One, two, three, four. To the back. Five, six. Oh my goodness, it's just like in fondues when we talked about, or one of the fondues, maybe it was fondues. Maybe it was rock down. Talking about pulling that thigh back, right? So four counts to the front, close. Four counts over to the back, Sierra. Yeah. Close. Four counts over to the side. Then you have a two count fuente towards your bar, whatever it may be. Holding that leg all the way up to the side. So it just rotates quick to an arabesque. And it rotates back to Alice of Collins. Close it in back, reverse. Double take to the back for four. Close inside leg, double take to the front for four. We close, double take to the side for four. Hold, five, oh, two, three. One, two, three, four. Fuete, five, six. Fuete, seven, eight. And close. That is all. Uh, you know what, let's take another Let's take another uh, quarter bow, but this time from fifth, we'll just go forward and back and then into the bar and away from the bar. I'll take you through all of that as per usual. You can also watch me do it. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I want to look when we do it. Um, double takes. It's a little bit faster than our normal like adagio tempo because I want to keep us moving when, at a time when you know, we're stuck at home. So really try and move through those four counts, getting around four ankles, really thinking about long, 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 long legs, reaching, taking up as much space as possible. Um, as usual, you know, I'm going to talk about it all the time, but this little guy, I've been watching myself and I noticed that I am so bad at that, that extra little long. And thinking about energy going all the way throughout our bodies so that we kind of reach reach all aspects and, and send out good vibes into the world. So we're gonna do our adagio. If you'll follow along
on the bar. We're trying to do a void. So this goes to show that even though you may you may have been taking ballet for a really long time or been working on your technique a lot, like there's still things to always be working on and improving. So even your teacher sometimes needs to continue to take class and continue to work on their technique because it's so important and it's hard. So yeah, I think that's my closing remark for that time. So let us do the left side of our adagio. And then all we have is grandma mug and then our time for this for today is done. Just kind of sad. But I'm kind of having fun. So let's just do it. Thank you. 
does my phone dropping. Anyway, thank you for hanging in for this whole ballet bar. I had a really great time. I feel really good. I hope you guys do too because ultimately dance is about making sure that you are feeling good about yourself and moving in your body and all that good stuff. And I'm not really good at pep talks, so I think I should just end this while I'm ahead. So sending my love to you all.